If you want to get into the network security space, you first need to know what are the roles and responsibilities of a network security engineer. To know what they are, watch this video till the very end. How's it going guys and welcome to another video. First things first, if you're new here, do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and also check my previous videos out. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about the roles and responsibilities that are carried out by a network security engineer. The way I'm going to break this down is I'm going to list five points and these five points will be a mix of technical, operational and management roles and responsibilities. The first one is the use and management of network firewalls. Network based firewalls are at the heart of network security. What a firewall does is that it polices traffic that's exiting a network or entering a network. But firewalls today do much more than that and therefore they're called as next generation firewalls. The use of a network engineer is to operate and manage these next generation firewalls. When I use the term next generation, I mean that other than just access policies on the firewall, you have a lot of other functionalities such as SSL decryption, layer seven application inspection, you have uh, antivirus signatures on there, you have QoS, you have NATing, you have IPsec tunnels, the whole lot. Therefore, it's very essential for a network security engineer to know in detail about the use of firewalls in a network. And this is not just confined to the use of access policies, but also these other features that I just listed. The second one is the use of LAN security. When I listed firewalls in the first point, that also extends to LAN security. But the main reason of having a separate point for this is to stress about the other security mechanisms that you can have within your local area network. And these include network segmentation, wireless network security, as well as wired network security. I've already made two videos on network segmentation and wireless security, so you can go check those out. But when I mean wired security, what I'm trying to say is you have features like port security turned on on your switches. You can also have 802.1x wired radius authentication turned on on your switch ports. What this means is, is that any user that is trying to connect within your local area network, because of these standards that you have in place, like your network segmentation, like wireless security, you create a very robust security posture. This is also one of the most important asks of a network security engineer. The third one is regular updates and patches to network devices. There are constant OS upgrades and updates that are available from these vendor based network devices because every day threats are evolving, hackers are getting smarter and it's also very important for vendors and yourself to stay up to date with the latest hacks or attacks that are taking place. So what vendors do is that they release regular software updates and patches that need to be installed on your devices. Now, you just can't blindly install updates as well to network devices because sometimes what happens is the newer updates that are released can actually break the current functionality of your network. Therefore, you need to read the documentation, ensure that whatever updates you're installing to your devices are not going to have any adverse effects. The fourth point is constant communication with relevant stakeholders. What I mean by this is, is that most organizations are split up into smaller departments. And if your network has good network security standards, then different departments will have access to only resources that they absolutely need access to. But from time to time, what happens is, is that the access needs for these departments can change. Your role will also include constantly speaking to the stakeholders whenever they need access opened up to new resources or even speaking to them if you need to close access to existing resources that are not used for a while. As a tip, you will also need to develop good communication standards when speaking to these stakeholders so that things are pretty clear and you can get your job done in an efficient way. The fifth one is updating of documentation and network security diagrams. Now, whenever you make any changes to the network infrastructure, it's paramount that you make the right changes to the documentation as well. Because let's say tomorrow you leave the organization and there's another security engineer that's hired in your place, they will have to spend a lot of time in discovering what exactly is going on within the network. Therefore, 
constant updates to documentations and network security standards is something that will come your way a lot and you need to be prepared to do that. So there you go guys, these were five important roles and responsibilities that a network security engineer is supposed to carry out. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with these or if you would want to add any more from your side. As always, if you like this video, do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.